You know, spring brings baby animals, and while they look cute and cuddly, wildlife experts have a warning. They say leave them alone even if they're in trouble. Shannon Smith explains why and what you should do in this week's Zoo Files. Watch as staff at the North Carolina Zoo's Wildlife Rehabilitation Center bottle feed baby squirrels brought in this spring. So spring is our busiest time of year here. We are accepting a lot of baby wildlife in from the public. The center's director says people see animal babies in their backyard and think they've been orphaned or abandoned, but that's not usually the case. It's very common for adult wildlife to what they call park their babies and put them in a safe spot while they go to their version of the grocery store and come back to feed their kids later. By approaching or picking up animals, people can actually cause more harm than good. The stress alone can kill a, a baby bunny. Plus, feeding babies the wrong food may cause major health problems. And honestly, it requires a lot of skills, knowledge, and resources to be able to raise a wild animal appropriately that it can reassimilate back into the wild. So if you see a baby animal you believe may be in trouble, your first step should be to call a wildlife center like the one at the zoo. Those experts can explain the best course of action for those babies. So yes, the animals can be very cute and we may want to interact, but if it's not in their best interest, we have to avoid those things. Bottom line, the staff says share your backyard with your wildlife neighbors by letting them live their best lives. Be a good wildlife neighbor. At the North Carolina Zoo, Shannon Smith, Fox 8 News.